Poodles, Richard Ryder here with this week on Out TV. Well, we're starting the week off like we always do with another brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5. This week, the queens connect with their inner child as they take part in a fun-filled kids TV show and get judged by Polina Partskova. She's a mean. Now, for this week's main challenge, you'll be creating lovable, eccentric characters for your own hitster television shows. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here today! Coco, think more Pinocchio and less the puppet from Saw. Also on Monday, it's another brand new episode of Beautiful People. This week, the Dunans plan a trip abroad and Kylie's father meets his match in a snarling dog named Madonna! <laughs> Did somebody say bitch? Mes enfants, mes children, us. Your dad's got an announcement to make. So this summer, why don't we go on holiday? Abroad! <laughs> Abroad means not in this country! I oh, know. These are our shop places. So, this holiday, how are we going to afford it? And finally, on Monday, we've got another brand new episode of Bride's Head Revisited. This week, Charles returns to Paris to continue his art studies, which, if you ask me, just means he's looking at naked people. Rex, where is he, Charles? So he's given you the slip too, is he? We got here last night and we're gonna go on to Zurich today. Sebastian pinched the lot while I was asleep. All he left me was two first class tickets to Zurich stuck in the edge of the looking glass. You're not hiding him by any chance. My dealings with that family are over. On Tuesday's brand new episode of Lady Boys, businessman Chan hopes that his four million pound investment is rewarded and Sahara records her latest single in London. Peter Chan, Thailand's answer to Richard Branson, has invested over six million US dollars in his new airline, PC Air. But this airline has one big difference. PC Air is the first to employ ladyboy flight attendants. Today is a uh, first flight. We are excited to be here and being a uh, flight attendant. On Wednesday's brand new episode of The A-List New York Season 2, Rodney takes out a restraining order against Austin and Ryan worries about being too gay. What's wrong with him? You're like the only one I can go to with this. I and am I'm so Mike. I'm <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of opportunities and a lot of meetings and and I'm being told I'm too gay. If I ever catch you <laughs> bending to somebody else's no, ideals, Auntie Mike is gonna bend you <laughs> over her knee and spank your little bottom till it's pink. <laughs> On Sunday's back-to-back -back episodes of London Lie, we kick up our heels with Kelly Clarkson and Sophie Ellis Baxter. Really, three names? Selfish? Here we are then with Kelly Clarkson. The new album, yeah. All I Ever Wanted. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Is it quite nerve-wracking or just uh, exciting? Or... No, it's exciting because you've spent the whole time in the studio, like getting all the songs together and everything. And... And uh, I don't know, it's a different thing when you get to perform it live. Are you happy with it? Is oh, it I'm a... really happy with it, yeah. Okay, brace yourself, because our TV's taking you to the movies. On Sunday, we're watching the comedy Heels. It's the story of a desperate, out-of-work man who takes a job in a cabaret club as a drag queen. You know, like you do. Thank you, Carly. This is Teresa. I was fired. Tell me you're joking. No, I was talking to you and... No, no, you look. This is your third job in the last six months. How can I help you? I saw how much money you were making and I heard about the talent contest. So you're telling me that you're wanting to wear women's clothing. So what's up with the straight boy, Celeste? He wants to enter the contest and become a female impersonator. I'm Richard Ryder and until next week, that was this week on OUT TV. Toodles poodles.